My name is Michelle and I'm currently teaching in Accounting Information for Managers and that's a unit that all um, business students need to complete so it's not just for accounting students but all students in a business course. We have some construction students also in that unit and other students who have chosen the unit as an elective. Um, in addition I also teach in financial planning. My name is Phil Ross. I'm an Associate Professor in Accounting in the School of Business and I teach in the areas of auditing, management accounting and financial accounting. I'm Stephanie, I work at the Australian National Audit Office as an Assurance Auditor. I studied the Bachelor of Business and Commerce majoring in Accounting and currently I'm studying my honours within the School of Accounting. In the early years of accounting, students are required to have some of the basic skills in mathematics such as addition, subtraction, multiplication and division. In later units, we use more sophisticated mathematical skills such as uh, percentages, ratio analysis. What students do need, however, is good logical skills and to be able to apply those mathematical skills in the context of accounting. Students quite often struggle with this because the context of accounting is quite unique and we have our own language. My undergraduate accounting subjects involve problem solving as well as basic mathematics principles such as additions and subtractions. The finance and economic subjects in my course involved a higher level of mathematics such as calculating the net present values. Students are expected to come to class with those basic math skills. However, for some students it may have been some time since they have actually used that maths or for other students who may have recently finished their HSC, um, they may not have paid particular attention to the maths as they may have thought that the degree that they were going to undertake didn't involve uh, maths. My undergraduate degree taught me problem solving skills which directly relates to auditing. For example, I was required to recalculate the client's long service leave provisions and where there was a discrepancy between their figure and mine, I had to look for the source of the problem. Students don't generally have difficulty in applying the mathematical concepts required in accounting. The mathematical concepts that are required are not complex. The difficulty that students do find is that the application of those mathematical concepts and understanding them in the context of accounting. For example, if a student looked at a 50% change in an item in the balance sheet from one year to the next, what does that mean in the context of accounting and the implications for the business? That is where students find the difficulty. I see myself progressing in my career at the audit office and in order to do that I need to have a strong understanding of mathematics, not only to complete my own work but also to take responsibility for reviewing the work of others. A successful student in my unit is a student that consistently applies themselves, that engages with the material and wants to learn the material. They complete all of their weekly homework tasks, their assignments, they come to all their classes, their lectures and their tutorials. And most of all, students that seek help if they need it. So if there is something that they're not sure about and they don't quite understand, if they actually ask their tutor or ask another staff member to help them with it, we find that those students do go on to perform much better.